high school prom. I mean, remember the nervous anticipation of whether or not he would be asking you to go? Hello? Jane? This is Paul. I picked up the tickets for the prom today. And I thought we might join the group going to Hank's for late supper afterwards. Wonder if you'd like to go with me. I'd turn that guy down. I don't know about you, but... Remember the sweaty palms you had as you waited for her to say yes? That sounds wonderful, Paul. I'd love to go. Good. Well, come on, then. See? She didn't mean it either. Don't forget the endless hours that you spent trying to decide what to wear. Ready? Here I come. Oh! The dream! Did she have on the wallpaper? It was the same pattern, wasn't it? Well, times have certainly changed since the kids in that video, thank God, went to the prom. But whatever your experience, we're going to help you relive some of the magic or maybe some of the pain on the show today. We'll reunite prom dates who have not seen each other in years, some who don't even suspect that it's going to happen. We'll go back in time to show you some prom dresses that may make you cringe. Today, you'll see the hottest, the hippest looks for prom 96. And clear all color consultant Louis Licari and his team of experts will be here to transform five lucky high school girls into absolute visions for prom night. So let's get a move on on that part of the show. That's the fun stuff that we know is going to be great. Meet our makeover candidates now. Get a look at them before Louis takes over. Please welcome Nikki's here, April, Margaret, Kirby, and Tiffany. <laughs> to go to prom. Now, did you ask the guys, or do the guys still do the asking? Um, I don't really have a date yet, so any <laughs> Calvin Klein models that for a free and oh, May, right. you know, I'm a helpful. So, but you're going to be ready in case. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's going to happen, too. Do the guys, do the guys still call up and act like that dweeb on the no. video? No. Not at all. I asked the guy to go. Really? Yeah. Well, what is it that you want to look like on prom night? Because it's a big deal whether you like the guy or not. You want to look hot. What do you want to look like? Well, I know I want to look elegant, not anything hoochie. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> hoochie. How hoochie could you be at, what, 17 or whatever? Talk to this one. Really? You want to be sexy? Very. Let me showing tell you, as much as showing possible. as much as possible? Yeah. And your mom and dad said okay on that? Mom's fine. Woo! <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring out the man who can make your wishes come true. He can get you hoochie, elegant, sexy, whatever it is. Colorist to the stars, Louis Lacari, come on. Look at these great candidates you've got. Aren't they beautiful? And you know what? They have, they have definite ideas. Oh, I know. Each one of them, I think, has a strong personality from what I overheard. Well, now, what are, what are your thoughts? Well, I think that uh, the prom evening is the first evening that a lot of young women can experience glamour. So I'm going to show you how... A new hairstyle, the latest hairstyles for the prom, and a little bit of hair color can give the glamour for the first of their many glamorous nights. And you're up for changing your hair color, ladies? Sure. Well, not Whatever. me. Not you? Mom said no hair cutting, no coloring. Uh, we got to call mom and tell her it's a makeover. Well, we can still give it a little hairdo. But I'm going to show you how just a little bit of hair color and a great hairstyle will make them extra special for this special the, night. The most important thing is have a great time. Enjoy it. He is the best. He and his team, they'll take really good care of you. Go get started. We'll see you back in a little bit. Right, have fun, ladies. Thank you, Louis. Now think back to your prom when you were that young and tender. How many of you would like to know whatever happened to your prom date? My prom date, I hope, is in hell. Oh. <laughs> it didn't go well on prom night? Worst night of my life. Really? Well, so you've never really wanted to keep track of him. Never in life. Never. We, we found a lot of people, though, who, for whatever reason, did. This could be another show, though, when we have you back for that one. <laughs> My next guest actually called our offices and said that he's dying to see his prom date from 1977. What a cute couple. Please welcome Keith Acapenti. <laughs> Hi, Keith. Hello. Handsome guy you were in the photo. Yeah, changed quite a bit since then. So what do you remember from prom night? It wound up being a disaster. A disaster? Yeah. Who were you with? Louise Harris. Okay, were you sweet on Louise? Uh, we dated for about four and a half years. Oh, well, that's pretty serious in yeah. high school. Yeah. 
Well, so why was it a disaster? You liked her. She didn't wear that dress we saw, did she? Yes, she did. <laughs> she made that No, dress. I meant the one in the video, not that satin one she has on there, which is really sweet. She made her dress? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, what was so bad about the night? Uh, wound up in the hospital that night. Got real sick. Almost passed out. Uh, and uh, she's in her prom dress in the waiting room talking to my father while I'm with the doctors. What happened? My electrolyte level got real low and just got sick. Your electrolyte level? Guess, I guess you can't see that coming on, can you? That was the explanation you? the doctors gave, so. Wow, so were you passing out and just out of it? Just getting real sick, losing a lot of fluid throwing up and everything and... Oh, all over that nice staying alive tux you had on there. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you ever tried to find Louise? Uh, no, I heard she got married and uh, she has three kids and lives out in South Georgia somewhere. She's actually a school teacher there in uh, South Georgia. And as you know, she couldn't take time out. But we did get her. She couldn't be here, but we do have her on satellite. And now you haven't seen what she looks like. She hasn't seen you. I haven't seen her in 18 years. 18 years. Here she is, uh, Keith's prom date from 1977. This is Louise Carlisle. Louise, you're on. Hi. She cut her hair. Yeah. Now, she, she got married. You're married, Louise? Right. Did you ever get married, Keith? Married and divorced. So you're single right now? Yeah. Now, he says he got sick on prom night. What do you remember about it? He was very sick. <laughs> he was extremely sick. Uh, <laughs> this does not sound good. <laughs> I know there's something, though, that uh, you wanted to say to Keith today, Louise. Well, um, actually, I'm not in Manchester. I'm here. So I'm coming on out. She's backstage, Keith. Louise, get yourself out here. Prom date, 1977. Hi, Louise. Hey, nice to have you here. Have a seat. Oh, look at him. He's being such a gentleman. He 18 years is a long time. Yeah, it is. Now, who's changed the most? Actually, it's been 19. Oh, <laughs> okay. But Every who's day. counting? <laughs> Are you surprised to see what she looks like? Is this, is this how you remember her, Keith? No, a little bit thinner. <laughs> Although I was thinner, too. <laughs> Keith, this is the first time you've seen this woman in 19 years. <laughs> but she looks good. She looks adorable. Yeah. She, you've, you're married, you've got three children? Right. What do you think about Mr. I Got Sick All Over My Tux? <laughs> he looks very nice. Yeah. Oh, we're... Now, what is... Louise has got a heart of gold. I, I felt so bad about prom night, about ruining her prom night on her. Because this is a girl's, one of a girl's dreams. Did you, how did you get the pictures taken if he was sick? We, um, after he got over all this, we went and rented the tux again. I put the dress back on and we went to Owen Mills. Oh. <laughs> had a picture. Aww do anything to make, to make it up to her. <laughs> you did feel bad, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. Keith, thank you for calling us. It was fun to track her down for thank you. you. Thanks for surprising him, too, today. <laughs> We've got a lot more ahead on the show today. We're going to see how Louis Lucari and his team turned those five prom makeover candidates into the bells of the ball. We'll be reuniting three more couples today who went to prom together, including this twosome who haven't seen each other in 12 years. But next, the good, the bad, and the ugly. What you, your mother, and your grandmother might have been wearing to the prom. Do you love this? Is this beautiful? Yeah, it's really nice. Look at him. He's so sweet. No wonder Granny couldn't get a date if she was wearing something like this. This is horrifying. It looks like a bridesmaid's dress I had in a wedding way back when. Come on, you need to be my escort dressed up like this with my flower. I need a man. I need to be on someone's arm. Today on Lisa, our prom extravaganza. We'll be right back. What did your kids have for dinner last night? It was some chicken and, you know, noodly stuff. Burgers and, um, that stuff. It was like stuff. It was next to the meatloaf. Hey, there's stuff 
and their stovetop stuffing. Just whip up a pot and watch what it does for their enthusiasm. Not to mention their memories. Last night was stovetop and stuff. Make them stovetop, because everything else is just stuff. Make a little or make a lot with stovetop in the canister. This is hot. This weekend at Sears, it's one hot summer sale. Save all through the store on top brands like Craftsman. Save $5 to $50 on all mowers and $10 to $300 on all tractors. It's one hot summer sale, now through Monday at Sears. Is it a flower? Is it a sprinkler? It's Gotcha Gopher, the pop and squirt sprinkler that gets them by surprise every time. Gotcha Gopher, more backyard fun from Fisher Price. Hi. You remember me? Oh, yeah. I bought this sweater, and it got these ugly fuzz balls. Yeah, and it faded. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. How'd you wash it? I had a gentle cycle with my usual detergent. Right cycle, wrong detergent. Try Ivory Snow. Really? Ivory Snow Powder's Baby Gentle Formula cleans safely. It helps prevent fuzz or fading on cottons better than leading regular detergents. Thanks. Oh, forget something? Uh, <laughs> never. Ivory Snow. Save care for the things you wear. Introducing the Tic Tac Take Your Breath Away. Get yourself a breath of fresh air, take a breather, it'll leave you breathless sweepstakes. Hurry, buy specially marked packages of Tic Tac and you can win a trip to anywhere on Earth. It's anti-itching. It's anti-redness. It's antihistamine relief for your eyes. New Ocuhist antihistamine eye drops. Clinically proven to relieve red, itchy eyes faster than the leading antihistamine pill. Get new Ocuhist from Visine. As our prom extravaganza continues, our makeovers are being transformed backstage by Louis Licari and his team. Louise and Keith have joined the audience. Hi, you two. Spend this time getting reacquainted. And it's time for the rest of us to go on and turn back the clock. See what we were wearing to proms a long time ago, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years ago. And Fabi and April and Jennifer, you're going to help me commentate? <laughs> from the 40s, strapless, full-skirted, floor-length, glamorous blue tool, kind of a satin bodice. What do you think about the gloves, girls? The gloves, I don't think I'd wear them, but I think it's nice. I mean, the color and all. It's very chic, don't you think, with the rhinestone necklace? Yeah, I like it. Very pretty. And the corsage, of course. <laughs> Pastels were very big in the 40s. Thank you. Moving up a decade to the 50s, off the shoulder. This is a T-length dress. Again, it's got a silk bodice and a very full tulle skirt. You gotta be tiny to wear this, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have, like, no waist there. Can we turn around and see the back? Because there's a little uh, wrap thing going on there. <laughs> Pearl necklace. James Dean and Elvis were very big with the teenage market. Again, pastels were real big. The corsage is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Let's look now to the 60s. Oh, my goodness. This is kind of Jackie-O. Things became simpler, more glamorous. All the frills gave way to leaner lines. This, by the way, is from Jenny Lee Formal and Bridal Shops. Again, she's got those elbow-length gloves. What do you think about this Daisy wrist corsage? I like it. You like it? You yeah. wear that? I think it's nice. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. It's nice. I think it's pretty. Oh, we're getting a thumbs up from out here. Can we see one more turn there? Gorgeous wrap. <laughs> Very chic hairstyle, too, isn't it? I love that from the 60s. Thank you very much. Okay, now in the 70s, proms were really not the thing because all the hippies were really having a big influence. This is kind of what we saw, and this was my era of proms. We had pieces of April was the theme of my prom. Yeah, and I wore something actually kind of like this. Doesn't, it's not very forgiving to the body. You have a great body for it, but this is clingy. What do you think, girls? I would wear it if I had the body. Spaghetti straps. It's the plat. Have you got platform shoes on? No, if you were really in the 70s, you would have had those platform shoes with that choker at the neckline. This is, um, you've got slinky shoes, though, and that works, too. How about the hair, girls? No. Come no. on, girls, be no. real. No, not the hair. Not the hair. <laughs> it was a disco inferno. The audience is voting yes on the hair. Thank you. Very cute. Wrist corsage. Okay, Marissa, where are you? Now, much different look from the 80s. President Reagan was president. Nancy brought that full tilt glamour back. Dynasty was all over the screen. And a short dress here. 
It's strapless, it's black lace over peekaboo pink puff mini skirt. She's got the big earrings, of course, the dangly earrings, and the high, high heels. Now, do you like this look? Yeah, I like it a lot. This is hot, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Now, this looks like something you could get away with now, don't you think? Yeah, I would, yeah, I guess. Especially if you got her legs. Can we see the back? Turn around. The long gloves again. Very pretty. Thanks, Marissa. Now, you've noticed that it used to be that the pastels were in. Well, for the 90s, black, evidently, is the first color of choice shiny, anything sparkly and slinky. This is very long and simple. It's, it's um, got some sparkles at the neck, but not a whole lot going on. This is from All That Jazz. She's got the strappy sandals. It was kind of a full circle return to elegance then. And by the way, they tell me that tulle is coming back too, so you get that girlish thing going. That's, that's really nice. I mean, yeah? That's a pretty dress. Very sophisticated, don't you think? Oh yeah, I'd wear it. You'd wear it? I'd wear it, yeah. Okay, girls, thank you very much. Thanks, Amy. So they've got fashion through the decades, but we're going to see what, when we come back, the hottest looks for teens this very season. Next up, though, you'll meet this couple who are very anxious to be reunited after not seeing each other since their prom. That was 15 years ago. Stay close. We'll be right back. <laughs> Fed up with crime? Think the system's more concerned with the criminal than the victim? Meet three judges and a sheriff who agree with you. They're doing something about it. I run the toughest jail in America. We've got to start bringing reality back into the system. Some people, though, say they've gone too far. We ordered her to have some sort of birth control. Yeah, right. And also embarrassed me. Controversial justice. I don't see rapists being castrated. Next, Lisa. Move over, plain old diaper wipes. Make room for something really new. New quilted Baby Fresh wipes. They're better than ever. Because now Baby Fresh is not just thick, it's quilted. Quilted to be extra thick and most important, soft and incredibly gentle. New quilted Baby Fresh. As gentle with your baby as you are. And when it's time to potty train, look for Kid Fresh, the do-it-myself flushable wipes. If you need a Visa credit card, we have a special offer just for you. We guarantee to give you a credit card with no security deposit required, regardless of your past credit history. Almost everyone will be approved for a Visa card, even if you've been turned down before. If you meet our minimum requirements, your approval is guaranteed. Our offer is for an unsecured credit card. This means that you are not required to send in a security deposit. Don't miss this limited offer to obtain a Visa card with no security deposit. Call our number now. An application will be sent to you immediately. Before the satin comes the silk. Before the cashmere or denim, the silk. The silky skin that comes with Caress Moisturizing Body Wash. It not only cleanses, it has essential moisturizers to nourish your skin every day. Nothing leaves you silkier. So before the linen or lace comes the silk. Before you dress, caress with Caress Moisturizing Body Wash. When you're going, when you get there, whoever you're with. Milton Bradley and Parker Brothers Travel Games make it a lot more fun. Travel Games, take the fun with you. Just one application of Banda Soleil protects you from the sun's six beautiful hours. Most other lotions don't even come close. So there, sun. It's must-see TV Thursday, and your night begins with a great big friend! <gasps> you have other friends? And after the single guy, find out what makes Seinfeld say. Why would anyone eat canned fruit? Yeah! And Caroline celebrates Richard's birthday. Not anymore. Must-see TV, NBC, tonight. NBC congratulates our Emmy winners. From Another World, lead actor Charles Keating and supporting actress Anna Holbrook, plus Lisa for Outstanding Directing Team. Congratulations. Extravaganza going on today's show, and as we continue, let's peek backstage, see what was going on a little bit earlier with our makeovers. Okay, here we are. We're cutting, we're coloring, we're putting the hair up, and we're putting some of it down. And you're going blonder, right? I think this will color our mix. How scary would that be? It's going to be great. 
was like kissed by the sun, sort of. She's going, uh-huh, sure, he didn't even know what color he had on, but it'll be great, we know it'll be fabulous. My next guest called us in the hopes of reuniting with her prom date, whom she has not seen. Oh, he's cute. In 15 years it's been, this is Barbara Bertartha. So that's you and Nick, huh? Now, were you and Nick an item at school? Um, I thought so. You thought so? <laughs> <laughs> we were very good friends all through high school. So you really had it for him, huh? I did. Yeah. Yeah. When he asked you to the prom, that was like just the biggest deal? Shock. Yeah. I didn't believe it. Um, when he asked me, we were walking outside of school. I was walking him down to the bus, and um, he just matter-of-factly just said, so, want to go to the prom? Oh, he's one of those cool guys, huh? Oh, cool. Like, he hey, didn't want to yeah. go. He didn't, he wanna didn't go. want to go? His mother convinced him that he really should do it, so <laughs> she likes me. But it looks like he dressed up pretty nice for it. Um, he let me pick the tux. Um, the only thing was he had to wear um, white high-top sneakers with the tux. Oh, that was his, his rule? Yes. But this was one of those nice tux with, the, like, the, um, the ruffle shirt yes. and the whole thing going yeah. on. Yeah. And you remember your dress perfectly, I'm sure. Yes, I was gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you were Cinderella, and that was your moment. with Nick. Whatever happened? Um, after high school, I went on to college, and he was pursuing an acting career, so um, we really went our separate ways. And you just much. have not talked to him since that time? I talked to him a couple of times very briefly, um, but not in a very long time now. Well, as you know, Nick has been impatiently waiting backstage to see you one more time. Here he is, your 1981 prom date from East Catholic High in Manchester, <laughs> Connecticut, Nick Rapoli! Thank you. How are you doing? Have a seat. And look, he's still got the tennis shoes on. <laughs> Nick, what is it with you and the tennis shoes? It's me. I have to be comfortable. Now, do you remember exactly the way she said it, walking into the school bus? You don't. I don't remember really asking her. I mean, I remember that we went together, but I don't remember asking. I don't remember when it was or where it was. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, she was very excited about you going. She really didn't care if you went butt naked. She just wanted to go <laughs> with you. I was a sick girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we were buddies, so, I mean, she was really the obvious choice. Are you, are you surprised at um, how he looks now, or do you think he looks the same, or he what? A lot the same. He looks the same. It's real different hair, though, huh? Yeah. I saw a picture of him. I was with his, um, his mother this weekend, so I got the lowdown. You were? Yeah. How is she? She's doing wonderful. I have some things for you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She sent you some stuff for Nick? Yeah. <laughs> now, Nick, did you have a good time at the prom, or was it just like you needed to be there to get that photo to make Mom happy? No, no, we had a great time. I remember having a great time, but definitely Mom had a lot to, and some friends of mine, too, really had a lot to do with my uh, asking. I really didn't want to go. I'm not a type of person to be around a lot of people, so, but we had a good time. Okay, so she says you were, like, really cool about it. You were going to be an actor and all that. How'd yeah. that work out? Pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good, yeah. I went to New York, stayed about three years. Did some fun things. Nothing to quit the day job for, you know. <laughs> now, Barbara, did you go on and get married? Yes, I did. So you're married right now? No, I got unmarried. Got unmarried. <laughs> she got into it. She got out of it. Nick, what about you? No, I'm not married. You're not married. And here they are, two single people again on our stage. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Really appreciate it. That's fun. Later on in the show today, what will this young couple think of each other when we finally reunite them 12 years after going to their prom together? But next, how Nikki, April, and Kirby went from grunge to glamour for their big night at the prom. We'll be right back. Stay close. It's a trip to paradise, and this man has lost his vacation money. And so has he. This man was carrying cash. But he insisted on American Express traveler's checks. So while he had nobody to turn to, this man called the people at American Express as he tried to contact someone back home. With just one phone call, American Express can refund your lost or stolen traveler's checks just about any time, any place. Don't take chances. Take American Express traveler's checks. The human body is brilliantly designed. Your spine protects your spinal cord. Your ribs and pelvis protect your vital organs. But what protects your bones? Tums helps protect your bones from osteoporosis. For pennies a day, Tums gives you very pure, absorbable, bone-building calcium. 
the human brain is brilliantly designed. Use it. Try Tums. Recommended by the National Osteoporosis Foundation. Condition red. An unwelcome redness along your gum line. Or even worse, a trickle of blood. Should you observe these danger signs, be forewarned. It may be the gum disease, gingivitis. Gum disease is caused by germs. Listerine kills them. It's the brand, the only brand clinically proven to help prevent gingivitis. Kill those germs. Better dead than red. The power of prevention. Meow Mix now has four of your cat's favorite flavors, including new ocean fish. It's a winning combination. Meow Mix. It tastes so good, cats ask for it by name. When you're outside and you want buzz gone, now there's an off that you don't put on. Just light off citronella candles and enjoy a delightful night. Now use the off that you don't put on. Off citronella candles, S.E. Johnson Wax. Need a wheelchair, a special walker, or an electric hospital bed? Call Majors Medical Supply, a Medicare provider of complete convalescent supplies. Majors Medical Supply accepts Medicare and private insurance assignment, which means less out-of-pocket expense to you. Will your insurance pay for a scooter or an electric wheelchair? Call Majors Medical Supply, a participating Medicare provider. Dial this toll-free number and let the experts help you. Choosing the right cabinets for your kitchen is important. They should be a source of pride and last for a long time to come. At Wannell Floors and Cabinets, you'll find a wide variety of all wood custom cabinetry that will enhance the beauty of your home and fit your lifestyle. Let Wannell's professional design staff help you select the style and finish to personalize your kitchen. At Wannell's, you can be confident you're getting the finest quality and selection available. Wannell, 3730 Wabash, west of White Oaks Mall, Springfield. We're talking proms, we're talking fashions, we're talking makeovers. Louis Lacari and his team have completed the transformations. Judy Gordon in, uh, got involved with fashions for all of our fabulous ladies. How did it go back there, you two? Oh, they look great. I mean, I think that, you know, again, this is the first time that they're really exp experiencing sophistication, glamour, and they, they look terrific. And the dresses, they Beautiful. were happy. Beautiful. There's a variety of looks and color, as you'll see in just a moment. See, I always worry if they're happy, because we want them to leave feeling good about themselves, right? Oh, definitely. That's you our want goal. Them to be happy. I want them to be happy. I want them to be happy. We want them to be happy, because we don't want to hear about it later. All right. Let's take a look at our first makeover. We're going to start with Nikki today, and we'll remind you of how she looks. She's 17 years old. She wanted to look more sophisticated. She wanted to make a statement, but to keep it simple. So that's quite a challenge. Let's bring her out. Nikki! Very pretty. pretty. Yeah, that fit the bill. Now, Nikki wanted, you know, Nikki wanted to be the quintessential natural-looking blonde, and here she is. This is a permanent color, and she can maintain this with a color like nice and easy at home. It's easy to Just do. Just a little brighter than her own hair. Right, no? right. And then the hairdo, we lifted her hair up. We added a few curls for this very sophisticated Nikki, look. Nikki, turn around if you would so we can see the back of it. That is gorgeous. Doesn't she look pretty? That is truly gorgeous. And this lavender is gorgeous with her coloring. Oh, yes, and colors are really big, both pastels and brights. And also, short dresses are in for proms, Lisa. And this is really feminine. Girls like this because of the chiffon and the beaded top, the spaghetti strap, the little empire waist. And you see the little flirty hemline? That's great for dancing. Very feminine. You look gorgeous. Is this your mom and dad? Yes, it is. Hi, your little girl looks so sophisticated. She grew up. <laughs> Do you like the prom date she's got this year? I think he's terrific. Wow, you got a thumbs up on the look and the prom date. Go have a big time, Nikki. Great job. 17-year-old April is next, so let's remind you of what April looked like earlier in the show. We've got the all-new, sophisticated April coming on out. Yeah, look how beautiful she Young April, April had natural looking highlights before. Because this is an extra special evening, I made her hair a little bit extra special by putting a few highlights around her face. Still natural and soft, but they look great on April's hair color. And uh, now, April can 
uh, maintain this glamour whenever she wants by painting on highlights whenever she needs to. Then uh, Bridget from my Beverly Hills salon beveled the back of her hair and left it turn a little it, turn longer. Turn it a little bit, April. Look at that. Uh, how chic Very is that? chic. So this is sort of that 60s retro look that looks so 90s. April, do you love it? Yes, I you do. You look gorgeous. Who wouldn't? She looks totally gorgeous. And I love this outfit. Isn't it great? It's a beaded oh, dress. Oh, sell it, April. There you go, baby. <laughs> Woo! It's actually a classic dress, very glamorous. And April has a lot of individuality. We talked, and she picked out the sheer coat, which is sort of a throwback to the 50s, but it makes it very unusual, just like April. Uh -huh. April, you are working it. You really are. You look great. Well, go join Nikki and we'll check in with your friend Kirby. Now, this is Kirby's very first prom, so the look is going to be so important for her. Here's what she looked like before Lewis and Judy did their magic, and here she is now. Now, April had a light honey brown hair, and uh, Carol just boosted it up to this dark, honey blonde and uh, she we could do this with a shampoo and lightener and the great thing about it is afterwards it's an after sun conditioner that will keep it soft and shiny all summer then we just kept her hair simple because she has such beautiful hair so why not show it off and it romantically sweeps her shoulders you know what I love is she looks beautiful but she doesn't look um, like she's trying to be really too old Do you know like right. some of the girls put on makeup and their hair and they look like they're really trying so hard she looks soft and pretty she looks terrific she is. and you know that sophistication and glamour is really in now we saw it at the oscars and we saw it in a very big hair so we kept her in, a, in that look with a long red lace dress that slid up the side is sexy and the little shoes she's wearing are called sabrina shoes named after audrey hepburn so there she is a little movie star boy and with her figure you could put her in anything and she'd look great Kirby, you are the ultimate. You're so elegant and gorgeous. This is your first prom, right? Yes. How do you, are you nervous? Um, a little. Yeah? More excited. I bet. Yeah. With your new do, you're going to be great. <laughs> Have a big time. Thank you. You look great. Still to come, more makeover magic from these ladies, from Lewis and from Judy and the gang. And also, don't forget, we'll reunite this unsuspecting woman with the prom date that she says was her very first love. Stay with us. You know, studies say that infidelity, unfortunately, is on the rise among women, especially professional women. If you are in a marriage, you've been unfaithful to your husband, and you or both of you are willing to share the experience, please give us a call or fax us. From Eureka Technology, the Victory Clean Air System, for powerful cleaning on and above the floor. The Boss, sleek, trim, powerful. Mega Boss 14-inch wide pad cleans faster. Boss and Mega Boss, both mega values only from Eureka. How the amazing Brainiac eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. Only the 12-hour antihistamine in Tavis D is clinically proven to deliver both cold and allergy relief. Proven safe over 15 years. And just as important as clinical proof, there's living proof. Tavis D, the only one with proven cold and allergy relief. Don't lie about your age. Defy it. Makeup can make you look older by settling into fine lines. Revlon age-defying makeup has color particles wrapped in moisturizers, so it floats above fine lines. Don't lie about your age. Defy it. Definitely go to Konoski and Associates. Every time the insurance company would try to shirk them off, Konoski and Associates would come back and fight even harder. I knew I was going to be off work for at least two months. I had several thousand dollars worth of medical bills, and I knew they weren't going to wait on me. And it uh, felt pretty good to have somebody in my corner. When you're fighting a big company, you pretty much need a big friend. Konoski and Associates was my big friend. Coming up on the next midday, we'll have the latest from the state capitol. Also, it's going to be a big gardening weekend. If your garden's too wet to work, we'll have some alternatives. That's on the next midday, noon, News Channel 20. Join us. On the next episode of Seinfeld. I'd love to be a Civil War buff. <laughs> what do you have to do to become a buff? Well, sleeping less than 18 hours a day would be a start. Thursday at 6.30.
wonderful evening. This is one prom I'll always remember. And you know something? I'm glad it's you I'll remember going with. That's kind of the way it went for my next guest. We're joined by Rena, who's here to talk about her 1984 prom date, which ended kind of just like that couple in the videotape, right? That's right. Mm, she's here today <laughs> hoping to talk to the boy who gave her that goodnight kiss. He's a cutie, too. What a gorgeous couple you were. Yeah. Who's the guy? His name is Boyd Phillips. He it sounds like he was pretty special to you. He was very special to me. Really? Very. And how was the prom night? Was it everything you dreamed of? It was everything I dreamed of and more. It was the best. Here you are pinning on the boutonniere. Oh, and you're wearing the dress I wore at the top of the show. <laughs> it looks better on you. Oh, no. <laughs> so, and you gave him that, did he, he gave you what, a wrist corsage? I believe so. Now, what's this, just a romantic dinner? That's the dinner I cooked for him. <gasps> what did you prepare for him? Um, I, I think we had steak. I, I don't remember exactly. And mom and dad were not in the house? No. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So, was, was, were you in love with Boyd? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, does he ever, does he know that? Probably not. <laughs> I, this is so sweet. He probably will now, though, won't he? <laughs> she, yes, he's about to. She has her scrapbook here, and she has pages marked. You have to see this. These are flowers from Boyd. That's so cute. <laughs> I love, she's got the pictures of the, you know, every, every event that you shared together. This is truly sweet and very tender. Very tender. I, I don't want to make, make you wait any longer. Boyd is actually on the phone with us, and he is just as anxious to talk to you. Boyd, say hello. Rena. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I haven't talked to you in a long time. So, you haven't seen him since that prom date, which was, what, 12 years ago? Well, I mean, since he, he left high school, I haven't really seen him, no. Haven't, had no idea where he was. Nothing. You know we do like to <gasps> fool people. Boyd's <laughs> here. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Boyd, you handsome you? devil. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. Were you so disappointed when we said he was just on the phone? I was about to cry. Well. Oh, I'm so glad he's here. You can hug him and everything. Sit down real close. Boyd, were you listening to what she said about you? Yes. I heard it oh, all. Great. <laughs> so she said you were the perfect gentleman on prom night. Well, good what, upbringing. Good upbringing. <laughs> what do you remember about it? Her house, uh, dinner, the prom itself. It was the usual prom, I guess. I don't know, except for, you know, <laughs> special friend. And we had now, a great time. So you kissed her goodnight on the porch? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a perfect textbook. Did you kiss her on the lips or on the cheek? I think on the lips, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, Rena, I know you remember. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> what he said. <laughs> how, how old were you? Um, you were both teenagers, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. 15. And she said you were her first love. <laughs> Did you know that? No. No, he didn't no I didn't know. That's a real special thing for a girl, <laughs> to carry that memory around. We all, don't we all remember our first loves? Absolutely. Yeah. And do you, were, you, were you excited about going to the prom with her, too? Was she special to you? Oh, yes. She was always special. We were great friends, even before the prom. We did a lot of things together. We had a lot of mutual friends, and um, let's see, we did a play together at school that year. Mm -hmm. And she probably has video, I mean, uh, stills of that in her scrapbook here. You have got to, during the commercial break, spend some time looking through her scrapbook. You will see so much of yourself oh. in here. <laughs> Thanks for coming on to see Thank Rena you. again, Boyd. Still to come today, we'll reunite this couple. We went to the prom together 25 years ago. But next, we'll see how Margaret and Tiffany have been transformed by Louis Lacari and his team of makeover magicians. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Fed up with crime? Meet America's toughest judges and sheriff. I run the toughest jail in America. Next, Lisa. If it's time to do a little groundbreaking, don't go at it the old-fashioned way. Tear through it with a garden claw from Garden Weasel. Just position it like this. 
and you'll be ready to cultivate, loosen, aerate, and weed. The hardened steel tines rip through tough soil with just a twist of the comfort grip handles, even in heavy clay. And it comes with a 100% lifetime guarantee. So if you've got a tough job ahead of you, tear through it the easy way with the Garden Claw. From Garden Weasel. The Garden Claw is available at Kmart, Sears, and participating Ace and True Value. Makes a great gift. I'm a big kid, look what I can do. It isn't easy being big, but pull-ups training pants sure can help. See, they're not diapers, they're big kid pants. Back label and everything. Pull-ups turn kids on to training as no diaper can. And when they want to train, there's no stopping them. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Looking for something? Yeah, that dime from Sprint's long distance plan. Having trouble finding it, huh? Yeah. Well, that's because depending on when you call, the Sprint Sense rate isn't always a dime. It could be a quarter or 65 cents on calls to Canada. Oh. Try AT&T True Reach Savings. On average, most people can save more than with Sprint Sense when they spend $25 a month on calls in the U.S. Plus, you'll always save more on calls to Canada. Wow, I found what I'm looking for. That's your true choice, AT&T. Uniglobe Travel invites you to discover the lost horizons of Mexico. Eight incredible beach resorts and endless adventures. Book by June 30th and receive up to two free nights and room upgrades. Call Uniglobe at 1-800-999-8000. Oh, oh. If you love this organic experience... Yes! 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 Wait until you try our new styling line. Introducing Herbal Essences Styling Line. A totally organic experience. If you or someone you know needs a wheelchair, call this free number now. Lightweight wheelchairs, electric wheelchairs, companion wheelchairs, and three-wheel scooters. See the new electric wheelchair that folds up and goes in the car. Majors Medical Supply is a participating Medicare provider accepting assignment on most manual and electric wheelchairs. To see if you qualify for an electric or manual wheelchair, call Majors Medical Supply. Let the experts at Majors help you. Good makeovers, aren't they? Very, very, very. We've got a really good seat here, too. The best. The best. Best in the house. <laughs> I'm next to you, so it's the best. Woo, he's saying Woo! good stuff. I'll yeah! snuggle up here. We're joined once again by makeover consultant Judy Gordon and hair colors to the stars, Louis Lacari, who did such a great job on our first three young ladies. Thank you. That it's, it's probably time to move on to see how we did with the next two girls and see how they've transformed 17-year-old Margaret, who, by the way, just like Kirby, is going to be going to her very first prom this year. So here's what Margaret looked like before we started working with her today. She's ready to razzle-dazzle them at her first prom now. Look at this, Margaret! She looks Thank so you. beautiful, and this is such a romantic look. Now, one of the easiest ways to achieve sophistication and glamour is with an updo. And certainly, this is, you know, the one thing we saw on the runways this season was there was updo after updo. And, but the updos today, they're very simple. They're uh, uncomplicated. Margaret, they're young turn around. And fresh. Let's see how it's got a little bit. The updo has got just a little... Yeah, just a little. Fringe. So, right. It's just... It's uh, just a ponytail wrapped up and just the fringe left off, and it's a very simple, modern look. And it looks young and appropriate for a young girl. Oh, and what a gorgeous face to show off. Thank you. This color was made for her. Isn't she exquisite and exquisite. coral? And you know, she wanted elegance, remember? So she got pure elegance in this dress. It's actually a very similar style to the 50s with the, the bodice that's uh, chiffon and the lace and satin skirt. and. Of course, with a dress like this, you want to wear very elegant earrings, rhinestones, and a rhinestone brooch, and potus wash shoes. And so she's, she's got the fingernails to match. I couldn't oh, help everything. but notice. A now, very Margaret, regal look. Are you yes. the one who said you did not want to look hoochie? Yes. Kind of thing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Does this qualify? Yes, this does. I like this very much elegant, soft, and not too old looking. No, I wouldn't say it's old looking at all. Are you mom and dad? Yes. Yes, she is. Beautiful. Take plenty of pictures prom night, okay? I certainly will. Oh, yeah, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. She can really model, too. I didn't know these girls would work the runway as well as they are. And last but certainly not least, Tiffany, is it's her turn now. And here's her before picture. 
She does not look like that now, does she? Not at all. Come on out, Tiffany. Oh, my God. Tiffany was uh, born blonde, hair got darker, and she said, Louis, I want to be blonde again for my prom night. So what I did is I painted on highlights all over the top of her hair. And this is the most natural way to go blonde, by the way. Boy, her, it really brightens up her face. Totally brightens up her face. And then the hair, uh, she has fine hair. And with the highlights, we, again, we kept it simple to make it look like it's appropriate for her. And it's, we just gave it a side part and swept the bangs off her face. Gorgeous. And his sexy dress is always a prom Look favorite. Look at this <laughs> sheer see-through action going on. Yeah, this is a copy of a Harvey Leger design, and it's got the lycra and the nylon. Of course, all the celebrities and models wear, wear that kind of look, and it's sheer and see-through. So you don't need a lot of accessories, just a little black purse, little black shoes. She can dance all night. But it's not too suggestive to be inappropriate for her age. No, not at all. It's actually tastefully sexy. Now, Tiffany, are your mom and dad out here? Uh-huh. Where are your parents? My mom, right there. This is your, this is your daughter? She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Now, does this, does this bring a tear to your eye to see her so mature? <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, she looks great. <sighs> you do. You look glamorous. Do another turn before you go join your friends. <laughs> very, very pretty. You guys did a great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice when you have such pretty girls to work with oh, with great super figures. Super makeovers. Yes. Super makeovers. Till the yeah. next time. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank you Louis. So much. Thank great you. to see you as always, Judy. Thank you so much. After a quick timeout, we'll be right back here with you to reunite this woman. Now we're going to bring her back together with her prom date from 1971. We're going to fool her a little bit again because she thinks she's going to talk to him via satellite. Of course, he's really backstage and he's waiting to surprise her, which we love that. Don't go away. We'll do it right after this. If you'd like to be our studio guest while you're in the Los Angeles area, just give a call to 213-520-2708 for free tickets. What do you want? How about a new way to serve fruit? Apples, peaches, berries that nobody can say no to. Introducing Duncan Hines Fruit Crisp Mix. Apple cinnamon, peach pecan, and berry basket. You supply your favorite fruit, we supply the rest. Just add water and bake for a hot out of the oven treat with a scrumptious nutty topping that makes fruit irresistible. Mm. New Fruit Crisp Mix, only from Duncan Hines. Hot <laughs> stuff. It's your time to shine with Pantene Pro-V Hairspray. The pro-vitamin formula penetrates, improving your hair for all day hold, all day shine. Pantene Pro-V Hairspray. For hair so healthy, it shines. Get a hold on it. When you manage a restaurant all day, you need the strongest hold you can get. That's why I switched to Heasy's. It'll hold stronger, longer, or your money back guaranteed. Oh, well, that's good. Now I can sip hot soup at lunch and still make it to dinner to greet my favorite customers. Grandpa! <laughs> Fix-It-End will hold stronger, longer than any other adhesive or your money back. It's a long, hard day, but I love every minute of it. For a stronger, longer hold or your money back, Fix-It-End and forget it. Guaranteed. Full of muscle? And you could take four Advil in the course of a day or six Tylenol. On the other hand, you could take just two a leave. It says so on the label. It's your choice. Believe. All day strong, all day long. What's closest to your baby, what touches him 24 hours a day, is his diaper. So we created Pampers Premium. It wraps your baby in cottony softness all over and speeds wetness away faster than other diapers to help keep your baby's skin dry. With cottony softness, nothing's more secure. Because nothing's closer to your baby, except you. Make them happy. Keep them dry. Pampers Premium. Because every kid's a magnet for germs, and every pan's a magnet for grease, there's new Dawn Antibacterial. Cuts tough grease better than any antibacterial. Kills germs on hands, too. New Dawn Antibacterial. So you've only got one hand free. And you can't get the dryer sheet off the roll. So stop using the roll. But Bounce comes in single sheets now. Just grab one and throw it in. So you can stop static better single-handed. When a beautiful young woman... 
takes a fatal fall. Her grief-stricken boyfriend suspects foul play. Are you telling me you think somebody killed Courtney? This is not an accident. This week, a city gripped by fear. What if the killer strikes again? And a murderer who's not done yet. Who did this to you? Another world. Real life witnesses to the crash of Value Jet Flight 592. It just blew up. Added more. On the next Real Life. Weekdays on NBC Daytime. All right, my next guest actually saw her prom date from 1971 just recently, right? At our 20th reunion five years ago. Five years ago. But what was it? You just barely had a chance to talk? Yeah, everybody was talking to everybody. Everyone was so busy that uh, Roger and I said hi and talked for about three minutes, and that was about it. We wanted to give you a chance to do that today. Uh, this is Donna Dart Yakala. Welcome. Hi. So we're going to hook you up with a satellite. I guess you guys are still working on that. So let's, we, let's just chat while they're still trying to get that going. Um, it was Roger, right? Yes. Was it serious with him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had first met in seventh grade at Bowden's Pond, which is the big skating rink in town. And I remember thinking, this guy is so cute. And he was so funny. And I didn't see him much after that, but I managed to go skating as much as I could that winter. And, uh, <laughs> Smart girl. When we hooked up again in high school, we were juniors. I think we were kind of meeting, meeting at basketball games and that sort of thing, but didn't really date until we were seniors. And uh, senior year, we were, like, attached to the hip. I mean, we were just together all the time. So prom night then was a big success. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. What happened to end the relationship? Oh dear, let's see, that's probably a long story, but uh, we continued to see each other off and on for a few years after high school and uh, kind of would get together and drift apart and whatnot. And then uh, oh, he met somebody else and got married. So that was the end of that. But we stayed friends, we stayed in touch. We had a lot of mutual friends still from high school. and. Uh, we kind of knew about each other over the years. Do you still feel like that girl with the little choker and the sweet little pink and white dress on prom night? I'm a lot more nervous. <laughs> ah, more nervous now than on your prom night? Oh, yeah. Because we, I mean, there wasn't like a, for us, it wasn't like, oh, is someone going to ask me? And, oh, when is he going to ask me? I mean, we just, we knew we were going. So it really wasn't that nervous. You were steady. Yeah. So you had the, the good night kiss. How's the satellite, Probably. John? We're having problems, Lisa. I can see that. That doesn't look good at all. Okay, well, we'll we'll keep talking, or we'll keep working with the with the signal. Then maybe we can. I don't know if, if all else fails, we'll get him hooked up by telephone. Can we get a phone out here? We could always hook up by phone, or we could even just bring him out. <laughs> How about let's just bring him out? Come on, let's bring out our prom date. Roger, say hello to Donna. Caesar and says, hi, babe. <laughs> That's so cute. Hi, Raj. How you doing, Lise? Real good. Yeah, good. Wow, you look different. Uh, yeah, I get a little older. Every bit is cute. Oh, bless you. <laughs> it's, what do you, don't you think, Donna? Good looking dude. Oh, Still well, are. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> wow, so you guys were quite the thing in school, huh? We had a good time. Truly, we did. Yeah. We, we behaved. We... We misbehaved. We, 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 <laughs> we had a good time. <laughs> now, did you think the two of you were destined to be together? Uh, yeah, at one point, I would say yes. Yeah. Yes. So, Donna says that you went off, got married. Yes. You still married? Very much so. Really? Yes, indeed. Is your wife here? Yes, she is. Oh, I've got to see the wife. Where's okay. your wife? Uh, I'm not real sure. She's up right Hi! here. There we go. Now, wait a minute. How weird is this? To see him come out high babying his prom date. I was not, I had no problem with it until just now. <laughs> it sounded so tame over the phone. Yes, huh? it did. <laughs> and I've met her. We've talked. That's it's very nice. You are a wonderful sport to do this, <laughs> let me tell you. This is really I, fun. So you're happy Roger got a nice girl. Oh, absolutely. Aw, he's a very cute guy. Sure. Actually, Lisa, the whole thing was when she found out that I was coming out here to L.A., she said, I'm not real worried about the dating problem. She says, but there's not a chance in hell that you're going to be able to get out to L.A. without taking me with you. So. Good, smart lady. Yeah, thanks, both of you. It's good to have you here. Thank you. We're going to talk some more with the moms. I want to talk with a couple of the moms of our makeovers. And there's somebody in the audience who wants to ask their prom date, ask out a prom date. Am I right? I'm going to put you on the spot, OK? We'll give you a chance. Do your best. Think about it when we come back.
Welcome to Burgerama. Yeah, I'd like a large coffee. Oh, and make sure the lid's on tight this time. Candace, is that you? Yeah. Hey, I hope you don't mind me asking, but you know Sprint's time a minute rate? Is that really good coast to coast? Well, yeah, it is. So, theoretically, I could call every state in the country and it'd always be just 10 cents? That's right, all 50 states. 50? Whoa, we got 50 now? Call now for Sprint Cents. 10 cents a minute to any state in the country. Move over, plain old diaper wipes. Make room for something really new. New quilted Baby Fresh wipes. They're better than ever. Because now Baby Fresh is not just thick, it's quilted. Quilted to be extra thick and most important, soft and incredibly gentle. New quilted Baby Fresh. As gentle with your baby as you are. And when it's time to potty train, look for Kid Fresh, the do-it-myself flushable wipes. When I was young, Mom was always making sure I ate right. It wasn't always easy. Well, now we're listening to our doctors and taking better care of our health with Insure. Insure is recommended number one by doctors as a source of complete balanced nutrition. More than a vitamin supplement, Insure has all the nutrients adults need to help stay healthy, active, be energetic. Drink Insure as a meal. Or in between, Insure. To your health, Mom. Uh-uh. To our health. Now, Insure has a new advanced formula with even more nutrients. This is hot. This weekend at Sears, it's one hot summer sale. Save all through the store on top brands like Craftsman. Save $5 to $50 on all mowers and $10 to $300 on all tractors. It's one hot summer sale, now through Monday at Sears. You've never seen anything like this. Pure silk shave cream for women. So many moisturizers, it wraps your legs in richness every time you shave. For soft, smooth, silky legs, experience pure silk. You know what this is? Make believe it's your brain and make believe this is the algebra lesson Mr. Fouts taught you. This is Mr. Vett's German lesson. Mrs. Wilson's poetry, the time Mr. Cooper taught you penmanship. See, a lot of what's in your brain was put there by teachers. And over the years, they've taught you many valuable things you'll find yourself using the rest of your life. So my point, well, anybody that doesn't give teachers a great big thanks has lost their marble. Chef Boyardee's Spider-Man Pasta is a good source of protein with no preservatives. Tastes great, too. Chef Boyardee, good food kids love. While in Los Angeles, guests of the Lisa Show stay at the trendy, full-service Beverly Plaza, a boutique-style hotel bordering Beverly Hills and West Hollywood. Prom is coming up. Katie, where do you go to school? I go to Irvine. And the boy that you want to go to prom with goes to another school. Right, he goes to modern day. Does he know that you want to take him to your prom? Uh, maybe. We've talked for, I don't know. We've been, we're friends. We're really good friends. And I've been meaning to ask him for a while. And well, ask him now. What's his name? His name is Mike Hessman. Okay. And so, Mike, would you like to go to prom with me? I'd love to go with you. Mm. <laughs> he must be pretty special, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, let us know. Send us a photo if he goes, all right? We want to know. Come on, go. She's darling. Darling, as are all of our makeovers, you guys look so beautiful. I want to thank all my guests today. Louis Lacari, owner of the Louis Lacari Group in New York and Beverly Hills. Of course, his team and makeover consultant, Judy Gordon, and all of you ladies. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. And to all our couples that we reunited, it was great fun to relive some moments with you. Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Now tell me... You're April's mom, right? Tell me how you what you think about her. Beautiful. Looks yeah? very beautiful. It's good color for her, huh? Very beautiful. So you think she's gonna behave herself prom night? I doubt it. Woo! <laughs> now and Kirby's mom? Now we did not get a chance to talk, but how beautiful your daughter looks. She looks great. Does she look like you did when you went to your prom? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of worry when they're that gorgeous, don't you? No kidding. Just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we're watching her. <laughs> well, you guys take plenty of pictures. I'd love to see them. Who's got prom stories they want to share with me as we say goodbye?